What's up guys, Frank Fulci back again with another weekly haul unboxing and collection update video. Uh, before we jump into this, of course, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon for not notifications of all future uploads. Uh, before I jump into this, I'm an idiot. Last week was Mother's Day and obviously my haul videos come out on Sundays, but I've been filming the last few on Saturday evenings, which is what it is today. So I wanted to say happy belated mother's day if there's any mamas out there that actually watch my channel i was supposed to say in last week's video like i said because it was saturday instead of sunday when i was filming it it completely uh, you know s s i skipped my mind lost my mind i don't know what the fuck i'm trying to say but you guys get what i'm saying happy belated mother's day i was supposed to say last week and i didn't um this week's haul is a little strange because out of five packages or so, there's only one package that actually has movies in it. So it's gonna be a little different. It's still a horror haul because most of this stuff, if not all of it, still pertains to horror. But you'll see as I go. The first thing that I'm gonna show is a, actually a vinyl record. It's a uh, horrorcore related. So again, horrorcore, horror, it all fits in, right guys? So I was lucky enough to get this one. Uh, the person I got this from actually changed their name on Facebook recently so i'm gonna go ahead and assume he doesn't want his name said but i was lucky enough to get this vinyl record uh mr bones also known as jamie madrox of twisted he was mr bones in house of crazies so this is an old school throwback it's a re-release obviously on vinyl now this was extremely limited i missed out on it and if you look out on like discogs.com or whatever uh people are selling this shit for like 500 dollars, like crazy amounts of money which I guess rightfully so because it was so limited, but my man was, he had a couple of them, you know, a couple copies and he was fucking awesome enough to basically give it to me for what he paid for it plus shipping. So very excited to have this. I am going to keep this sealed for now because I don't have space for a record player. Um, but again, nice to have this in the vinyl collection. Uh, like I said, old school album, but re-released, re-released on Magic Ninja Entertainment. There is the track listing and all that good stuff. So very fucking happy to have that. Thank you very much, brother. Um, yeah, I don't know what order to do this in, guys. I'm so lost. Like I said, most of the time it's non-movie stuff and then movies, which will still be that order. But yeah, one package is only, only one package today of movies and they're not even horror. But anyway, guys, last time I did a Cavity Colors package, which was either last video or the video before that. It wasn't too long ago. I got a Psycho Gorman bookmark and it looks like I got it again, which is fine by me. Fantastic film, fantastic bookmark. Um, of course, a cavity color sticker here, Monster Club. But this time I got a Psycho Gorman shirt. Now, I think it was Puff Puff Comics or Pop Culture Massacre, as he is known now, that said, man, I'm surprised you didn't get the Psycho Gorman shirt. Then I saw somebody else post it on Instagram collect horror i think or yeah i think he's he does like a bunch of action figure uh photo photography and stuff but he had the shirt i was like man i need to get that shirt i hope i didn't miss out and he told me it was still available so i jumped on it but of course again like i said cavity colors now i got this in a medium because i am a baby and i lost all my size yeah still got some of it um but yeah i like my shirts a little tighter than uh loose anyway so happy to get a baby medium this is a nice stretchy material but Again, fucking awesome shirt. I didn't even get to look at it. I showed you guys, but awesome shirt here. Love that. Can't go too crazy. For a while, I was picking up shirts like every fucking week, but my closet is full and I'm going to be going back to the office for work soon. So I'm not going to be able to wear my horror shirts anymore. And I, Lord knows I don't fucking go out and be social. So yeah, basically they're going to be in the closet collecting dust. But next we have some, again, started showing these off recently. Uh, graphic novels, hardcover, library edition. I showed that Lady Killer library edition last week, and I finished reading that shit in like two sittings. Fucking loved it. Cannot recommend that book enough to you guys if you're interested in a housewife who's also a fucking assassin and gory and great writing, great artwork by Joelle Jones. Definitely pick up that book. Like I said I bought it off of Amazon, it was like 20 bucks. So uh, if I remember, after editing and uploading this video, I'll put an Amazon affiliate link down below so you can buy it and I can make a couple pennies off of it too if you are okay with that. Anyway, this is in the vein of that stuff. These are two books, uh, continuation of a series that I had read 
over a year ago, probably two years ago, maybe even more than that at this point, by Joshua Williamson. And the name of the series was Nailbiter. Now he finished that series and returned. Uh, I didn't even realize it was actually officially back yet because I haven't really been following comics as closely as I used to or as I was a couple of years ago. But since I'm back into collecting collected editions, I got volume seven. So again, the first run of Nailbiter was six volumes. Uh, Nailbiter Returns, I got volume seven, which they're usually about six issues. All right, so Nailbiter Returns uh, collects issues one through five in this and uh, issues six through 10 in volume eight. So happy to have these trade paperbacks. Again, I have the first six volumes. I do want to revisit it and I'm happy to get these uh, collected, you know, the continuation. Now, Joshua Williamson has, uh, has written a bunch of stuff. I actually like his run on The Flash. I read a lot of the earlier stuff. I love Birthright, which is a book of his um, put out by Skybound, I think. Uh, Ghosted, which I read the first couple volumes in trade paperback of that. Also, love his writing, always have, and happy to have this. So yeah, these are put out by Image Comics, by the way. Here's another one that again is comic book collected in uh, hardcover. Now this is one that I actually backed on Kickstarter so let me go ahead and get this out and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. It is an omnibus. Like I said, I backed it on Kickstarter. So a few months ago, oh boy, that's lost. And it finally came. Extremely happy to have this one as well. Happy that I backed it. So first up, we have a sticker of a baseball bat with spikes. Maybe that's a clue of what it is for you guys. If you guys know. Well, these say it. So anyway, this is Hack and Slash. Here's another sticker, or ha not Hack and Slash, but Hack Slash, I guess you would say. Uh, here's a postcard signed. But anyway, yes, it's a new hardcover edition omnibus of Hack Slash, a uh, series about Cassie Hack and her partner in crime, Vlad, who basically go around killing monsters who they call slashers. So anything you would see in a slasher movie, she goes around killing them before it can this, you know, whichever slasher is uh, being spoken about in that comic or that arc, she kills them before they have any more teen victims. So love the fucking run. I read, actually borrowed from a coworker, like the first two uh, paperback omnibuses, again, probably a couple of years ago at this point. So I read the first whole bunch of issues, whatever that collected. Now this collects, this is approximately 448 pages. This is, um, Again, it's an image comics title. I know there's a bunch of crossovers and stuff from other publishers. Now, funny thing is, I think I just sold a bunch of floppies of one of the crossovers that apparently is never going to be collected in an omnibus, which is really sad for me to think about now because I just recently, literally like last week or two weeks ago, sold it. And it was Hackslash versus Vampirella or something like that. It's actually a really fun miniseries. And I sold it with a uh, like hack slash returns or some shit, like another mini series run, just because I figured I was never gonna read the floppies again and I could pick a collected edition. But if I'm planning on ever continuing in this hardcover format, if they do other Kickstarters or whatever, I'm sad that I'm never gonna get that run again. But anyway, whatever, I'm just uh, mumbling on here, guys. Really happy to have this, like I said. Uh, writers, Tim Seeley and then Stefano Caselli. Um, well, they, those are the creators. Yeah, written by Tim Seeley, art by Stefano Caselli. But yeah, like I said, fucking fun-ass book, gory, beautiful women. Cassie is awesome, badass chick. Happens to be a lesbian as well, so that's fun in comic form. And like I said, she kills people with these fucking, this bat, like you saw. So, with the uh, nails sticking out of it. So, pretty fucking awesome. Again, happy to have back to that. And I hope they do more for other collected editions in the future. Now, guys, this is the last package that I was talking about. And it is movies, but you're going to be upset if you're looking for horror movies this time. This is a package from Deep Discount, which I used to order a lot from when I was younger. Like, way before I had this channel. But, uh, like, used DVDs and shit before Blu-ray was even a thing. Or before I was collecting them anyway. Anyway, I started... I think I ordered another package from them recently. But they just had a Westerns and War Movies sale. So I picked up a bunch of Westerns. I've been in a Western mood lately. Actually, the same day that I ordered these, I watched 310 to Yuma. Now that doesn't, I don't think that's one in here, but anyway. First up, we have True Grit. Oh, we have a loose disc in there. Awesome. True Grit, actually one that I've never seen. And I believe this is a, 
I was gonna say a remake, but I don't think that's correct. Anyway, written for the screen and directed by Joel and Ethan Cohen. Uh, awesome cast, Jeff Bridges, Matt Damon, Josh Brolin. I feel like I've seen parts of this. Is that a young, no, can't be. I was gonna say young Haley Steinfeld. Yep, sure is. I know my faces and names. Um, I was gonna say I've seen pieces and parts of this on like TV, but never uh, from start to finish and never in its entirety, you know, all in one sitting. So happy to have this again, uh, Western that I'm sh I've heard a lot of good things about. So here's one that looks silly. I'm sure if I was paying attention when this came out, this, I mean, came out a year after I was born. So definitely wouldn't have recognized any uh, rumblings about it. But 1988 is when this one came out and that is Young Guns. I was gonna say, the cast for this looks incredible. I watched a trailer, it looks like a great fucking time, but such an odd cast. Emilio Estevez, I mean, I guess not for the time. Emilio Estevez, Kiefer Sutherland, Lou Diamond Phillips, Charlie Sheen, who is uh, Carlos Estevez, of course, Dermot Mon Monroli, Mon Mulroney, <laughs> and Casey Siemes, yeah, I don't know who the fuck that is, but awesome fucking cast, I said the trailer, <laughs> Doesn't look like a very serious movie, but uh, with that cast, Emilio, who I've been watching recently again in uh, the Mighty Ducks Disney Plus fucking uh, new series. Love that series. Fun as hell. Let me know in the comments below if you've been watching that on Disney Plus. But I love all those old, you know, Mighty Ducks movies. But anyway, Emilio Estevez is the fucking man. Still is. And, you know, Charlie Sheen, Keith for Sutherland. Love all these fucking guys. Well, I don't love Charlie Sheen too much, but... Another Western, guys. Yeah, these are all Westerns. I didn't go for the war stuff. Never Grow Old with Emil Hirsch and John Cusack. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of John Cusack, John Cusack, but I fucking love Emil Hirsch. I've never seen a movie with him in it that I did not like. Uh, Into the Wild, Alpha Dogs, I'm pretty sure he's in that. Um, fucking uh, Autopsy of Jane Doe. I mean, he's been in so many others that I just can't think of right now, but... Again, one that I don't know about, and I think this is a newer one. This, let me see if I see the year on this. 2019, so yeah, I think I might have watched a trailer for this when I was putting the order in. Can't really remember for sure, but again, happy to have it. By the way, these I got all these. There's five total, I showed three already, for like 25 bucks, if that. Like A lot of these were like three bucks, four bucks. Surprisingly, this was probably the most expensive, and I think it was like six bucks, but it's a newer one actually from Full Moon. Well, new release, not a newer movie. Night of the Eagles. Again, Full Moon putting out a fucking... Uh... Now, I think this is a war one. I don't think this is a... Yeah, this is not necessarily a Western. So I lied to you guys. This is one that fall, would fall under the war category, not Western. But look at the fucking cast on this one. Also, this is part of the Eurocrime... Eurocrime? Eurosin, sorry. Uh, collection. Mark Hamill, Christopher Lee. Two Star Wars alumni although they were never in a Star Wars movie together. Um, but fucking fantastic actors. They've been in tons of other things, of course, not just Star Wars. But um, yeah, Night of the Eagles. And this is directed by the infamous Jess Franco, which Full Moon has put out a bunch of his stuff. Uh, so I have a lot of other companies, by the way. It's not just Full Moon, but Full Moon, uh, you know, they're doing this Euro Cine, Euro Sign uh, collection. And so this is one of them. Had to pick that up to... Not only stick in the war collection, which I don't really have much of, but also the full moon collection. And this is the last one, guys. Now, this is cool. Uh, again, I did watch a trailer for this one. This is Diablo. Now, this has Scott Eastwood, Clint Sun, and Walton Goggins. Or Walter. Yeah, Walton Goggins. Uh, now, what is Walton Goggins from again? Uh, he's been in a bunch of shit, actually. I don't wouldn't know anything off the top of my head, but this is a pretty good one, guys, as far as the trailer goes, anyway. 82 minutes, so not the longest. Uh, there is a making of feature. I didn't say anything about the special features on those other ones, but I'm trying to look for a year on this. Of course, my the fact that I can't see... Oh, 2015. I was going to say, I can't see out of my fucking contact lenses. But I'll read the synopsis for this one since I didn't read any others. A young Civil War veteran named Jackson wakes up to find his beautiful wife kidnapped by ruthless bandits. So this is like a Western revenge, which a lot of Westerns that I have seen anyway kind of are revenge flicks. With killers around every corner, the lines begin to blur between who the good and the bad are, including Jackson. As a final gunfight looms for our hero and he is asked to risk it all to save the woman he loves, this action-packed Western takes twists and turns that will break even the hardest of hearts. 
you don't forget the past you bury it so yeah it looks pretty fucking good like i said i watched the trailer for that one too when i put this order in and it looked interesting enough for like the three bucks that it was you know scott eastwood i think i've seen him in maybe like one other fucking movie so excited for that and that's it guys these are the only fucking movies uh that i got this week ones were put out by lionsgate orion full moon and oh two lionsgates and this other one technicolor paramount so yeah interesting mix of movies for me definitely out of the ordinary if you've been watching my channel for uh, any extended period of time it's usually packed with horror movies but again a lot of other horror related stuff comic books graphic novels all horror related oh nail biter is about a fucking serial killer which i didn't even mention uh yeah awesome fucking title but love this psycho gorman shirt love all this stuff hopefully you guys are okay with non-horror movies being in this uh that's it guys uh next week I don't know what's coming in this week. I have a bunch of stuff like pre-ordered and shit, but I don't I don't think I got any recent shipping notification emails. So things may be slowing down here on the channel soon or now. I'm trying to get a little more serious about looking for houses again. Now I know Dan from Reject Films recently closed on a house. I think everything is going well with that in terms of the steps he needs to take. You know, he should be, as far as last I heard, everything was going well with it. I know other people in the horror community or YouTube channel community, at least ones that I follow, they're also in a similar situation looking for homes or new places to live. I've been on and off with that recently or in the last couple of years anyway, and I'm kind of trying to get a little more serious about that. I'm um, turning 34, wow, I shouldn't have said that, turning 34 next month, and uh, yeah, it's time to have my own fucking place, even though it's very nerve-wracking, even just talking about it, I get, like, anxious, it's a huge fucking thing, and it's a lot of money, and luckily enough, with all the shit I've been buying, I've still been able to save and put money away, squirrel that shit away, but yeah, in terms of, uh, spending fucking superfluously on other shit, that might slow down soon, or like I said, like right now. So uh, yeah, I'll still do this weekly if I can, if stuff comes in. If not, I'll see you guys when I see you. Uh, if you would like to support the channel in any way besides just giving me the thumbs up and hitting that subscribe button, of course, I have my Amazon wishlist down below. I have all my social media links down below. I have merchandise links down below, which probably a lot of listings on there have expired because I haven't looked at it in a while because nobody really purchases stuff on there. But anyway, take a look. You might find something you like, a death metal logo, thrash metal logo of Frank Fulci, some movie boutique label type play you know, tributes to them that say Frank Fulci. Anyway, take a look at that. Horrorcore trading cards. If you're into the horrorcore stuff that I do here, uh, I have like 20 packs left of that series four. So that's moving pretty quickly. It's been two weeks since I released it and sold about 50 or so packs. So pretty happy about that. Anyway, guys, hope everyone's doing well and everyone is happy, safe, healthy, all that good stuff. And uh, until next time, peace out and be good.